Hey, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, so I have a sample of Zip R9 sheathing. We use it quite often on a lot of our projects. Those of you not familiar, it's the standard 7 16 inch zip. It has the integral weather resistant barrier, but it also has an inch and a half of poly iso. That's what gives us that Zip R9. Now, some of you might out there say, why would I use Zip R sheathing? Well, we have a stud wall behind us. In this stud wall, understand there's three major components to a wall, right? There's the cavity, there's the opaque framing, and then there's windows and doors. If I break those numbers down, you'll come to understand that the framing probably makes up anywhere from about 12 to 18, 20%. Now it depends on advanced framing or not, but we're not gonna get into that. The cavity, probably makes up somewhere around 60 to 65% of the wall system. And then the doors and windows make up the remaining 20% plus or minus. Now, the thing to understand, at a two by six stud, I'm at something like R5.5. The minute I put the zip sheathing on, not only does it enhance the cavity, but it takes that 5.5 and immediately adds R9 to it. So now 80% of our wall is insulated with the R sheathing. The windows and doors, well, we're just gonna have to make good choices there because you're not gonna really wanna cover those up. But understand the reason for using the R sheathing is from one of my favorite words, continuity. Yes, continuity in the thermal control layer.